Hello, Krix is here and welcome to this week's video. As you can see from the title, I am doing vlog type of video this week. So there will be a lot of voiceovers, I confess, because I'm not that good at uh, filming outside and talking. I'm quite shy with it, even though I'm filming a lot. It's inside, so when it comes to outside, I still feel really shy. So yeah. And um, please grab yourself a drink, because this will be a really interesting uh, video. I will also show a little bit of a art supply haul. I will show little snippets of bookstores I visited. I will show graduation exhibition. I will show a little bit of London landscapes. So all of this just in a second. This video is filmed from 7 till 8 of September. And uh, actually... Why I wanted to film this video is because I had graduation exhibition happening for one week in early September and I just wanted to film a little bit from that place to have it as a memory and I also wanted to show a little bit more to you because not all of you are in London or UK or can see this exhibition so I just wanted to have it here as a memory. before. Uh, going to exhibition, I went to Jackson's art because I wanted to see it in person. I ended up getting some art supplies and I will show you just in a second uh, my art haul from there as well. I wanted to film inside but I was too shy so I only had like outside clips of the store. Okay, here's the sneak peek. <laughs> it's not a lot. It's just a little bit. So this is what I bought. I bought a Liquitex um, heavy body acrylic tube in parchment color because this is the same color uh, as this marker and I love this color so much. I'm gonna quickly show the color. So it's such a gorgeous color. It's like um, like off-white but like with tint of green I would say so it's so nice that I now can like paint with it as well I usually don't go for acrylics but I just love this color so much so I was willing to to go for it and uh, yeah this is how it looks comparing to marker um, I think it's it's exactly the same I'm not sure if something is changing. So there you have it. It's like really beautiful tone. So this is the first purchase I, I bought. Then there are um, two more Molotov markers. And I was really skeptical about these ones because I usually don't go towards like bright greens. But at the same time, I recently noticed that uh, they're really well with muted colors. So. I just wanted to try them out so I already opened it because I was too curious and I couldn't wait for <laughs> this uh, review so this is poison green and it's like um, yellow green and the another one is grasshopper and it's this one uh, I'm sorry if it's reflecting so these are the colors and then I bought refills. I haven't bought refills for the markers, but now I am running out of uh, color on some of them. And actually, uh, next week will be Molotov video where I am going to re refill the markers and show how it's done. And I will also do my own colors, which is super exciting. So I bought this empty pump marker and I will refill this one a little bit more so stay till that one because that will be super exciting so yeah this is what i bought in london and it's such a nice thing to just see the art supply store in person and like touch all the materials paper and just see it, how it visually looks rather than just browsing online after the jackson's art i went and visited my friend rita in uh, a cafe nearby. Okay, hello and uh, hi! <laughs> the 
Rita, Rita Ru is with me and we are in London right now in one of the cafes near gallery and we just wanted to meet meet each other in person and sketch a little bit and just chat so that's what we are doing right now <laughs> it's going to have like these projects and uh, personal projects without like any varsity or something yeah it's really valuable yeah and you can also explore like themes what you exactly like what you like exactly and so Do you want me to film you? I can like film you drawing. No, <laughs> I want you to draw as well. Nice. Do you want to show your work? Oh, it's not very, it's just a little doodle. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. It's like not that great. But there you go. No, it, it, I like it. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I'm so awkward when I film something outside. <laughs> Look, uh, so I'm, I'm here now. Jess was here. Is, <laughs> Jess was here. Is here as well. <laughs> oh guys, this is so awkward. But yeah, yes. like we are in the exhibition right now, and I will actually show a little bit more of it because I really want to document this and yeah. keep it as, uh, keep it as a memory. So about the exhibition, I don't know if you know, but I finished masters in children's book illustration in early this year and this is graduation exhibition where there is my work and work from other course mates and so I was studying in full time and uh, in total it took me year and a half. This exhibition was supposed to be in February but because of pandemic it was postponed and then it was supposed to be in May and it finally happened only in September. So it was big build up to exhibition. We needed to do several things. We needed to work on catalog, on our website. We needed to have uh, interviews. We need to showcase our work on social media. And we also needed to work on our own personal portfolios. So it was a lot of um, things happening at the same time so from January till September I was also mainly working in some free days to to draw more of uh, portfolio things. It was actually really sad that the exhibition was postponed because we also had a lot of international students with visas and the visas expired so they couldn't be at the ex exhibition and a lot of us helped to make it happen for them. So we helped to set up our work, set up their works and so on. And I didn't film exactly every single stand because we were more than 60 people there, but I tried to film as much as possible.
graduation exhibition. <laughs> and uh, these are the works I did in the last 18 months uh, from different projects, I would say. I think they're mostly mixed media, as you can see. I'm, I love to work in different materials. Portfolio with me as well. And I printed like a a four size, just various um, images, and actually they are mostly not showcased in the wall or in the books. I wanted to be them a little bit different, and these are the the things I worked after I finished my course. Then I have my sketchbook. But I will not show it all because it's, <laughs> it's VIP stuff. Only those in, um, in the exhibition can see it more. But yeah, actually, I have pressed the walnut. Uh, we can show the leaves. Three leaves. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so this is uh, from walnuts because my story is how to grow a walnut tree. So these are. So, yeah. Then there is comment book. I will actually, I will, I will not watch it oh. now because I'm oh. like. Are you gonna save it for the end? Yeah, I, I, I will save it till the end. <laughs> so yeah, this is my master stage project. And I really like it. I made the book myself. Oh, I love <laughs> them and papers. So they're actually I made inner parts separately and then I made in outer parts and then I connected. So that's why it's it's not the easiest way to open it, but it's really sturdy, so. Mm -hmm. This is the, the leaf, actually. I just showed, <laughs> it's like inspiration for this spread, I would say. I love that spread. And I really like this, this, this go. Mm -hmm. And yeah, some of them are just like, not full spreads, but like only like, Half or even less. <laughs> yeah, but you give it the idea. Yeah. <laughs> and then it's, this is the second. And this is a story about a boy who just wanders around the house and look uh, what each other uh, watch. Uh -huh. <laughs> he looks around the house and discovers what uh, his family members are collecting. And it's like just going to each room. So it's quite a simple story actually. And the, each room is in different color palettes as well. So, yeah, this is the spread. The same, a little bit different colors, I guess. <laughs> so, yeah. And, uh, yeah, this is children's book story hour. Super short story about daydreaming and wishing to become a butterfly. It's like a little bit like a fantasy, I would say. <laughs> so, yeah, and this is like the, the spread. <laughs> Thank you. And yeah, like now, like I have stickers. Do you want some? Here you go. Yes. <laughs> yes. Thank you. Um, I have business cards. Do you have business cards? No, no. <laughs> not yet. Um, yeah, then I made like this clay piece. And uh, I actually am not that good with clay, but I'm really proud how it turned out. It's like vlogging as well, I guess. <laughs> like oh, with yeah. mini camera. Um, but yeah, the. In the end, that boy is uh, collecting memories with camera, so that's why there is camera. Uh, yes, I already read your book. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, there's like this dog. He's actually following through all the story. So it's like family dog. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I, I think I showed everything. I think this was, uh, I really like this artwork, so that's really the biggest part. I'm proud of this. I'm always like putting this one somewhere. <laughs> So, every single time. So yeah, yeah. this is like mini tour yeah. of my work. Thank you, Jess. Thank you for sharing your beautiful artworks and yeah. books. Oh, thank you. Cool. Just 18 months. <laughs> so I was part of this year's graduates and this is the catalogue uh, that represents all of our course mates. And this was the exhibition place. And yeah, I'm just... There are so many talented course mates. These are the names of them. And yeah. So this is like my, my small thumbnail up here. And um, I'm gonna quickly run through this. 
So each of us had one page to showcase, and these catalogs were sent to publishing companies. They were at the exhi exhibition as well, so in various places. This is my, um, my spread. I have two illustrations because we could choose um, to put one, two or three illustrations in one page. And I actually wanted to put this one bigger, but because of the size of the page, it didn't look that great as it it is n right now because it's like it shows scale much more because it's not like a square but rather like triangle like triangle no it's like different size form so yeah and yeah there are so many other course mates up here which is really exciting and each year we also have uh, group pictures but because this year was online they decided to have like zoom zoom icons i guess so this is <laughs> this is up me in here in the same filming place where i'm filming all the videos so yeah pretty much that's it for the catalog it's really nice and fine quality and i really like the cover we all chose to showcase. It's from one of our course mates, Tia Lu. After 7th of September, my mom actually visited me in London and later on in Cambridge. So I filmed some clips where we went in the next day. I wasn't talking almost at all in that period because I had my mom around and my other friend and I just filmed some snippets of places where we've been. So in the beginning we went to Sky Garden and if you don't know it's like botanical garden on 35th floor. Then we also went to King's Cross Station and uh, I filmed a little bit in a side Harry Potter m store but um, there was music so I decided to not show those clips here. Yeah, and then we actually walked from King's Cross to London Eye by feet because we just wanted to explore city a little bit more. And during the way, we somehow ended up in a bookstore area, but the bookstores were more like antique bookstores, which are just the thing I really enjoy and love because there you can see all the different kind of books you couldn't like either they're super old and interestingly rare or they are something really specifically picked. So I actually got this pictures and words uh, book uh, from one of the bookstores and it was sealed and I just, I just went with it. I didn't check the information, what was it all about and I bought it without knowing what's inside. It was one of the first times I tried to do this. But basically, it's um, there are three sections. One section is silent, silent comics. One is uh, pictures and text, and uh, another one was sequential, I think. And each of those segments, there were different authors and uh, basically like small biography about them and uh, their illustrations and comics. So it's quite interesting. I read a little bit about it, but yeah, this I got only for three pounds, which is crazy. And it wasn't opened at all. But yeah, I really enjoyed checking bookstores. And then we also went through uh, the classical London, like, I guess, promenade. We followed the River Thames and we went from London Eye to Liverpool Station. So during the way, I filmed a little bit here and there and the sky was amazing color. It was like deep blue and it looked like it, it will rain, but it didn't rain at all, which was crazy. It gave this such interesting contrast. And in one point when we were on, when we, we went on Millennial Bridge, the sun just suddenly came out and it was really beautiful there so yeah that that's it for <laughs> that's it for um, the vlog part
I hope you enjoyed watching this week's video and uh, watching all the places I've been. I didn't put everything in because I felt it's too much, but I hope you enjoyed the snippets I picked and showed you. Okay, as you can, as you know, every week I'm promoting different artists here on YouTube. And this week I decided to promote Tove Art. She is tattoo artist from Sweden, currently living in Germany. And she is doing really calm and cozy studio vlogs. So please check her out. I will link her down below. Um, so yeah, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you for watching this week's video. If you liked it, please give a thumbs up and comment down below. Have a good evening, morning, wherever you are. And see you next time. Okay, bye. <laughs>